Elon Musk just confirmed on an X space that yes, they could be looking at a third launch site in the future. So we have Texas, we're working on Florida. There could be a third launch site. What is it about, you know, having different location that may, you know, help with the outcome? Just to clarify, this was done during a late night X space hosted by an author, Catherine Brodsky. I'm not sure how to say her last name but Elon was asked a couple questions about Starship when he thinks the next launch will be, which he said mid-March, something that we already kind of knew. But then he was asked about the second Starship launch site that they are preparing in Florida. And this is when he revealed that, yes, they may be looking into a third launch site eventually. Oh, well, there's, there's two things that there's, uh, there's flight three, which is, hundreds of improvements from flight two um, that just increased the probability of success of flight three. But, but we, and we will establish a second launch site at Cape Canaveral. It's not uh, to the exclusion of, of Starbase in South Texas, but uh, it's in addition to. Um, so we, we're going to be launching a lot, ideally from both Cape Canaveral and from uh, South Texas. And we may at some point look at having a, we probably will at some point look at having a third launch location. Another crazy thing, and yes, it's a little off topic, but this man, Adrian Dittman, who is apparently a German man, almost sounds identical to Elon, so much so that Elon invited his mom, May Musk, into this space to try and tell the two apart. So I'm gonna try and do an interview with Adrian because I think that this is just so trippy and crazy. I'd, I'd have to probably, I'd have to disconnect whatever I'm using. To, like the, the, the microphone is like a, it's, it's, it's a weird device. It's like a bone conduction thing. It's, it's yeah, it, it's quite that old. That does sound like you, now that's you. I'm a very early adopter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, th 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 that was not me. That was in fact Adrian. Whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to talking about Starship. While the assembly of the second Starship Tower in Texas continues, the Space Coast is also preparing for its own Starship operations. The U.S. Space Force is gearing up for a big move with SpaceX, and it's all about where the next Starship launches could happen, so let's dive in. First up, the Space Force is looking into two potential spots for launching SpaceX's Starship from Cape Canaveral. One option is revamping the old Delta IV launch site at Space Launch Complex 37. Now, this site has a rich history dating back to the 1960s with the Saturn I and 1B rockets, and later it was used for Delta Delta IV launches, but with the Delta IV rocket retiring soon, there's an opportunity to transform this space for Starship. Now, if they decide to not go with Slick 37, there's a plan B. They're considering building a brand new launch complex, Slick 50. This would be right between Slick 37 and another pad used by SpaceX's Falcon 9. This is big because it shows how serious the Space Force is and how SpaceX is serious about expanding their launch capabilities. So let's recap. Option number one is that Starship, the world's largest rocket, would not need any of the infrastructure for Slick 37, so if SpaceX takes over that existing pad, the facility will likely undergo extensive demolition and construction. Now, if they aren't cleared to use Slick 37, SpaceX could build a brand new launch pad designated Space Launch Complex 50. If this is the path SpaceX takes, Slick 50 would be built on undeveloped land north of Slick 37 and south of SpaceX's primary launch pad for the Falcon 9 rocket at Slick 40. So here's actually an interesting portion of an interview that I did from September 2022 when a tour guide at KSC told me that SpaceX was looking at building another Starship launch pad at Launch Complex 49. NASA Environmental Studies even kicked off for this LC-49 in 2021, but apparently they're no longer working on that idea. But if you turn around to the north, above... 39B. It's kind of hard to see, but there's two lonely palm trees sticking up above the tree line uh -huh. in the distance. That's where they want to build 49. So hmm. 49 is going to be specifically for Starship, a super heavy booster. It's going to be built to the north. There is nothing that will ever come to the north of that because the north of that is 
um, the Wild Left Refuge and National Park. Oh, wow. So going back to early Kennedy Space Center, that's 39C. Okay. We planned on building 39C and D for decades. In fact, the Launch Control Center is built for at least a 39C. So you look out the windows, to the right is A, and the middle is B, and there's nothing to the left, which is over there, which is where they're gonna build 49 for SpaceX specifically. Any previous activities regarding LC-49 were suspended and no actions were taken. So this confused me at first. At first I thought maybe they renamed LC-49 to Slick 50 for a proposed development site, but apparently this is completely different and for some reason they have suspended their interest in LC-49. But here's where it gets interesting. They have to check the environmental impact of these plans first. It's a big deal because they want to make sure launching Starships won't harm the environment. And we see how contentious that already is down in Texas, even after approvals. So they're starting public meetings in Florida to hear what people think and to outline the environmental study process. Also, if you wanna leave a comment online, you can to ensure that they have sufficient time to consider public input in the draft EIS please submit comments by March 22nd, 2024. And all of those comments along with names will become part of the public record. So if you want to submit a comment online, I will leave that link in the description for you. Well, this study is going to take a while, over a year and a half. So we're looking at some time before any final decisions are made. Meanwhile, Cape Canaveral is becoming quite the spaceport hotspot. The Space Force has been reallocating old launch sites to different companies for their rockets, showing there's a growing demand, as we know, for space launches, but space is getting tight and they're running out of launch pads to give out. And here's a bit from Elon Musk. SpaceX isn't just focusing on Cape Canaveral. They're also planning to build another Starship launch pad at their Starbase site in Texas. We've seen the segments for the tower already transported from Florida to Texas. And Elon mentioned that having two towers is crucial for their plan to ramp up launches. And then we're also gonna build a second tower. Uh, we, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna, this is this is we're going to really be launching a lot, and up and we're going to be upgrading one tower while we launch from another tower. So two towers is important. By the way, guys, you may notice this new chair that I'm rocking here. Thank you to Ewen for sending me this XL gaming chair. It's a lot more comfortable than the chair that I had before. It gives me way better lumbar support. And my favorite part is this magnetic pillow. Um, actually, I should put a little bit down, but this is just so much more comfortable. It's been really fun setting up my studio, um, and this chair definitely is going to make a difference while I'm editing and spending more time in my office. This took me only 30 minutes or so to set up. I did it all by myself, so it's high quality. This is this was a very heavy box. I actually had to use a truck, borrow a friend's truck, to transport it to my house to set up, but I'm so glad that I have this chair now because I think it's gonna make a big difference in my level of comfort. And it looks like super cool. This is more of like a, a villain chair than the chair that I had before, but um, the armrests are adjustable in height. The covers like went on them like so easily. It was like they were magnets or something. Um, so I'm glad that I was able to set it up in no time and now have this awesome chair. So what do you think about SpaceX and the Space Force's plans for future Starship launches? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more space updates. I will see you in the next video.